Hi guys, and this is Joyce, Joyce All Knowing Tarot. How are you? I am back just for a quick video this weekend. I said I was going to take the weekend off because it was the holiday, but I'm not actually going to barbecue until tomorrow. So I had time enough to do a quick video. So I want to first give a shout out to Linda G. Linda G went on my video about um, uh, Kellyanne Conway. The one that's got like 87,000 hits on it. I, thank you to you guys. And um, yeah, and she put a great job or she made some comment on there. My daughter pinned it up at the top so you can take a look at it. I was so surprised. You know how something just catches you out of the blue and then you're busy. So it's not till later to the dawns on you. You're like, oh my goodness. Wow. So thank you, Linda G, for putting that on there. So today I want to take a look at um, a couple things. First of all, um, as anybody who is not under a rock knows that Trump called the military suckers. Yeah, five times burn spur, spur boy called them suckers, okay? Suckers, cowards, whatever. And it was so disrespectful. He's supposed to be the commander in chief over the military. Now we can see why he hasn't made mention or even stopped uh, Russia with the bounties on our soldiers so i want to see how the military felt about him the military as a unit the other thing i want to look at is Barr again because after trump told people vote twice and he did tell them to vote twice he told them to complete their ballot and mail it in then on election day go down to the polls and vote and see what happens yeah they're gonna see what happens and they get locked up so i've got my cosmic deck today <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. So I first want to take a look at the military's feelings about Trump. So let me just invoke my cards. So military feel about Trump's. By the way, that's that is really my fireplace. It's not a backdrop, <laughs> like the window. <laughs> and remember, if you like the channel, please subscribe, thumbs up, leave me a comment. I'm always in my comments. You guys know that, and it would be great to hear from you. Okay, so first of all, the military, I'm looking at military as all branches, looks at him as the rich guy, okay? Um, this is the nine of pentacles, and that is the rich guy. I hope you guys can see with that lighting. He's the rich guy. He's by himself. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He lavished himself in nice surroundings, nice things, but you can see there's nobody around him, okay? So if you take a look at this, this is indicative of him, independent. The rich person is the only one saying this stuff. And this is him. This is not him, but this is him getting a message or giving a message. This is what crosses him. His obstacle is his mouth. This is him speaking on things he doesn't know anything about. 
This is the Prince of Page. And it's like he's using his imagination to come up with anything to say. And that news, what he said about them, it came quickly. It was offensive. It was harsh. They didn't appreciate it. Here's the Seven of Cups. This is what they think of him. Like he is in his imagination. He's in his head. He doesn't know what's going on. Nothing is concrete. This is all about him speaking on things he knows nothing about. And that's how they feel. You know nothing about what you're talking about, what you're saying about us. All this stuff is, is made up because you haven't been there. And that's him still trying to find a way to win this election. It is pathetic if you ask me if winning is this important to you. This is you trying to juggle and balance what's going on. What's around him? He's overloaded. This is the Ten of Wands. This mess is coming to an end. It's coming to an end for him. This is the Ten of Wands. And this talks about so much responsibility. And if you look at the character, he is falling out. This is a dark, gloomy sky on in, in the night. And the Wands have overwhelmed him. He's just about to fall. And that is what is around Trump this fall. Yeah, and so they see that, that's around him. This responsibility, this job, this position, this presidency that he has is coming to an end, period. And here is the Two of Wands. It's in the dark, and it is, actually it's the Two of Swords. And they're, they're not revealing, they're not going to speak on it, but... Um, there are some serious thoughts here about what to do with Trump. Absolutely. Um, there's this, you've got some of the people that are in the service, they love him. Okay. I'm just being honest and others do not. And now what's around him and their feeling of him is what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Do we get rid of him? Do we vote him out? What, are, what are we going to do with him? Okay. Because they are unhappy. We're not going to know. You see it's in the dark. You see the moon is out. So that speaks of secrecies in deep thought. Uh, hate to look at this. You hate to realize that this is the person that's supposed to be our commander in chief. It's very disappointing for them. But we have the Prince of Wands. And these guys are strong and they're courageous. And they're going to push on through irregardless of what is being said about them or what's being done on them. They're not going to stop. You see, he's got his shield with the lion on there. This would really represent like a fire, especially uh, a Leo, but they're going to push through. Okay. And they're going to overcome and they're not going to give up and they're going to think this, think it through. And they know that this too shall pass and they still want to stay in the military and they're still going to fight for this country point blank and simple. They don't think much of him. They really think he is crazy. I'm going to put it like that. They think he's crazy. Not from the Dr. Bandy perspective or anything like that, but just crazy. I want to see, will the mil will military people vote for him? Let's see. Will he get military and veterans. I know the veterans, I don't think they're going to be there for him. I know there are some that have the veterans against uh, Trump and all of that. So let's see. Will our military men vote for him? Hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday weekend. There's not a whole lot that we can do other than go to the grocery store, but, and I'm not even going to go to a restaurant and sit down and all of that. I just, mm -mm, no.
I'm in this living room with my puppies today, not in my office. Um, oh, wow. They are changing their perspective. There are some that were clearly going to vote for him, but not anymore. This is a hangman. And you can see his head is highlighted around here. And this is like that, oh, shucks, that highlighted, that, that aha moment that says, eh, I don't think so. My perspective has changed. I'm not going to do it. Once again, this is the chariot. They're going to push through. They have no choice. They're going to keep, this is just another backlash, uh, another strike from him. First, it was, you know, him not going, him talking about John McCain, uh, that he wasn't a hero and all of that. And now this. Will he deny it? Is he backpedaling it? I think he's doing that as we speak right now. So, yeah, for sure. No, they're going to carry on. They're going to carry on, but they're going to do... This is something new and different. This is a major arcana card. This is the fool, and this is zero, and this is I want to do something completely different. So they're going to. A lot of them are going to vote a different way with the temperance card, trying to have a, a sense of balance and hope and renewal and let's get things back to normal. Yeah. So will they be voting for him or changing their mind? They're going to be changing their minds. Okay, let me take a quick look at Barr. So we know what Trump said about voting twice. This was in North Carolina. And Barr turns up that night on a television show. I think it was with Wolf Blitz. Wolf Blitzer. I think Wolf is on CNN. Um, if I'm wrong, you guys will let me know. But anyways, I watched the interview and <laughs> Wolf asked him, well, isn't that a felony? Well, I don't know. You know, he started backpedaling and I'm not sure. Uh, it depends on the state. And he's like, no, it's a federal, it's a federal felony. Well, you know, they might, maybe they want to change your mind. If I submit my ballot in, how can I go back in and do another ballot to change my mind? And in fact, there was at least one lady that I know of that did that in 2016 and tried to vote twice and she got five years. Boom, felony charge put on her for doing something like that. Don't do it. Why is Barr lying? Why is Barr, why does Barr feel he need to lie to cover it? Now, you know, <laughs> on top of that, he is the top AG, right? He is the top, period. There's nothing else beyond him. And you don't know what all the rest of us know? Stop playing with me. Why is Barr lying? Why is Barr lying? Nothing new here. Nothing, nothing to see, folks. <laughs> uh, money. Him wanting and needing money. This is six of coins. This is where someone above you or someone is giving you money. You're the poor mentality. And that's him with a poor mentality while he is getting money. He's being paid. Okay, trust me. He wants to lay low, okay? He wants to lay low. He doesn't want to be asked anything directly. He's not going to say anything directly. He's going to backpedal and and boogaloo and everything else other than trying to speak directly to matters. He knows he's got to keep his mouth shut. He should be in his mind thinking about what, where am I going after this or am I going to be impeached or am I going to be arrested or what's happening to me? But he isn't doing that as much as he's like, it is what it is because he wants legacy. He wants real money, not, you know, a good paycheck. He wants, this is the 10 of pentacles. This speaks of legacies and inheritances and big money, not money from a job, but money from, from other things, uh, bigger things. And that's what he wants to have. And he, that's what he wants to be a part of. So why does he continue to lie to Trump or lie for Trump? It's money, 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 money. And and he's so stupid, I picked up another card. More money, more opportunities. 
more opportunities, more monies. I don't know what Trump has promised him, but he's promised him, promised him something. When this is done, this will happen for you. That's what he's promising him. It's not true. I wouldn't believe it if I was him. I wouldn't believe it. Mm-mm. Um, yeah, he's constantly birthing up new ideas. He's trying to be strong and and all of that, but he isn't. He is a coward. Uh, let me be the first to tell you, that is a coward. Watch that interview. It should be on YouTube with Wolf Blitzer, and you can see how cowardice he is in action. See a coward in action. Um, anyways, guys, that's all I have for you. Just want to jump on and do a quick video like that and give a thanks to Linda G for the shout out. I love you guys. Mwah, mwah. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to go to Joyce Knows Who Done It. We're getting to Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina. And why did they lose their life? Have a great day.